Nicola Peltz and Brooklyn Beckham's extraordinary wedding resulted in a lawsuit against the planners and the bride looking, spoiled and entitled. The Transformers actress and social media personality first started dating in October 2019 before getting engaged the following year. It was then in April 2022 that Peltz and Beckham tied the knot at Palm Beach, Florida, at the mansion of her billionaire investor dad Nelson Peltz. The three-day event welcomed famous faces from across the globe including Gordon Ramsay, Eva Longoria, Venus and Serena Williams, and, of course, David and Victoria Beckham, the parents of the groom. Peltz stunned in her custom-made Valentino dress which involved making two trips to Rome and another two in the U.S. for fittings. Despite the glamorous occasion wowing onlookers, a few months after the wedding, Nelson Pelt sued Plan Design, the Miami-based wedding planning company owned by Nicole Brahan and Ariana Grigelba. According to the legal filings, they were fired after just eight days as the pair had hoodwinked the Peltz family into thinking they could do the job. Peltz demanded his $159,000 deposit back, but the planners filed a counter-lawsuit which revealed hundreds of texts from the family-making demander with Nelson described as a billionaire bully. It is revealed in the new documentary Peltz Beckham's V's The Planners that Nelson said he wanted to cancel the wedding as it was a S asterisk T show, but his wife Claudia told him not to as it would destroy Nicola's career. Editor of gossip website Pop Bitch, Chris Lockery says in the documentary that the wedding was total carnage, and the wedding planners were subjected to the group text chat from hell. One of the dramas in the group chat involved Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton, who RSVPD but couldn't actually make it on the day. In the group chat, Nicola wrote, Lewis Hamilton did not RSVP. So explain why his name's on the list please. We spoke to him. He can't come so explain why you said he RSVPD yes. When the planners tried to explain the situation, she replied, can someone just send me a list of yeses please. I don't want it to be so complicated. I just want a list please. I've repeated myself a lot. I don't want an app or Google Doc. Just a text or email. Simple. Old school. That's the way my mom and I like it. Referring to Yuda, who seems to be a member of staff working on the big day, she said, he doesn't work weekend, sick, and when the sun's, sick, down he won't work. Yeah honestly he kinda sucks truth be told. And when talking about Beckham's side of the guest list, the actress and model stated, I do not trust Brooklyn with this. He has no idea, and is guessing. The lawsuit claimed that a whopping $100,000 was spent on Nicola's hair and makeup, but Nelson couldn't be told as he would kill Claudia, his wife, and be so mad. Wedding planner Preston Bailey was originally employed but took a step back as he was overcommitted on other jobs, which fellow celebrity planner Mark Nemirko said was one of the biggest red flags. The documentary highlights that Plan Design was the second wedding planner before a third was hired to complete the job. Unexpectedly though, both sides settled and in a joint statement wrote, the parties believe that this contract dispute should be resolved on the terms agreed. As part of the settlement Plan Design will make a donation in the name of Nicola and Brooklyn to the Care Ukraine Crisis Fund. Plan Design wishes Nicola and Brooklyn Peltz Beckham happiness and a fruitful life together. Peltz Beckham's V's The Planners is available to watch on Discovery Plus in the UK and Max in the US.